Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lignus Monster, and this is the Star Wars The Black Series Weekly News Recap, a series where we recap everything that has happened in the Black Series over the last week. And to be honest, there's not a ton of stuff to go over, but uh, I do want to cover everything because I think everything is worth talking about. And real quick, before you get into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe. We're actually going to be giving away this clone Captain Rex in only two days. There are still two days left to enter in the giveaway. We're actually giving this away because we had 8,500 subs, so I do want to thank you guys so much for all the support. But you do have to be sub to enter in the giveaway, so make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe. And then all you have to do is leave a comment on my Captain Rex giveaway video, so that'll be pinned in the card and linked in the description right now. Make sure to go check those out. And, uh, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for all the support. We've actually already hit 80, or, like, 8,700 now, 8.7K, which is another 200 subs, which is incredible. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to go hit the like button, subscribe, so you don't miss out. And on to the video. Recapping some news from last week, this is a photo from Yakface, and there are some Black Series code names that are exclusive to Target that have been rumored. So right now, these are three figures, all for the standard, uh, price at Target now, so that did go up, I believe, so now it's, uh, I want to say, 28 or $29 for a standard figure. It's not a deluxe, it is standard, which is really unfortunate, but this is a three-character wave, and it will be exclusive to Target, so we don't really know what these figures are. Uh, yeah, I believe Yakface is speculating they'll be Mandalorian characters, but we will have to wait and see. I'm just really excited to get some more uh, exclusives, and which I, I know that sounds bad. I'm just excited to get more figures. I don't really want exclusives, but as long as we're getting more figures, I'm excited. And um, hopefully they're Clone Wars, fingers crossed. We'll have to wait and see, though. And then this is another photo posted by Yakface, but uh, the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is showing up in a few different stores. This one from Yakface is showing up at Target. And then me personally, I also saw it at both Target and at GameStop. So here's my Target photo here looking really, really nice. And then here is my GameStop photo. So these are showing up, and this is by far the best Boba Fett we have in the line. So if you are interested in a Boba Fett, you don't have one yet, I highly suggest you guys go and try to pick this one up. Uh, it's a great figure, and um, yeah, it's showing up in stores now, so go check it out. And then next up in the news, I actually did get this information from Out of the Basement's live stream. I was a guest star on their live stream just yesterday, so make sure to go check that out. Their channel is linked in the description. But they did talk about how Hasbro had a like interview with some different uh, creators on YouTube over the past couple of weeks, and um, basically one of the designers said that the brand new 20th anniversary of Clone Wars, uh, just plain white face to clone trooper, will have the realistic style rather than the animated style, which means it'll probably have the black line. But he also alluded to them uh, having a brand new helmet mold too, which is really interesting. So this will be a new helmet mold for the Black Series, new clone helmet. That's pretty cool. We'll have to wait and see. But I think if this is true, this is pretty huge. And then another thing they addressed is the Boba Fett tax. Now, I don't agree with their answer at all. I think it's kind of just BS. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. But according to the designers there, they mentioned that uh, it's because of, like, all the extra pieces. There's so many different overlays and joints and different pieces that you have to assemble that, like, specifically hand assemble, that it's, it's just the cost of production goes up because of it. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think Boba Fett has a ton more pieces than some of these other figures. Obviously, I'm not a designer. I don't make these figures. But I don't know if it's really that much of a difference. But I think that also just doesn't excuse the fact that the 40th anniversary Boba Fett... Uh, or the Return of the Jedi, whichever one you want to call it, both are the same figure. Uh, this one is the, basically the exact same mold as uh, the Book of Boba Fett Boba or the Tython Boba. And uh, both of those are really expensive deluxe figures, while the uh, Return of the Jedi one is also a deluxe figure, but it comes with a ton of accessories as well. And the accessories are what make it that deluxe figure, whereas the Book of Boba Fett and the other one, they're, they're just expensive for no reason because they don't come with those accessories. So if it really was assembling the figure that made it more expensive, why is the Return of the Jedi Boba and the, uh, the 40th Boba... Why aren't those more expensive than even the deluxe price? Like, they're the exact same price, and they have tons more accessories. So that just doesn't really connect to me. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Something's not adding up. And then next up, 
this actual photo is from Crimson Dawn Collectibles, but I've seen a ton of reports of Rosses having the Phase 2 Black Series uh, Clone Trooper, just a standard white Clone Trooper, for $5, which is crazy. If if you can find 20 of these at a, at a Ross, you can get an entire army for very cheap, which is awesome. So go check out your Rosses, because they might have a $5 Clone Trooper. That'd be great for customs or just for building out an army. So... That's kind of big too, so if you have a Ross near you, go check it out because they might have a $5 Clone Trooper. And then last up in the news, AliExpress actually has these brand new custom uh, Waxer and boil figures uh, for purchase on AliExpress. Now, I don't really condone buying custom Clone Troopers off AliExpress. Um, I, I, I mean, yeah, they're... They're, they're customs, and I'm using customs in parentheses if you haven't noticed. But, uh, yeah, so I, I own a few of these these AliExpress clones, and they're the exact same mold. Uh, head to toe, they're the exact same. The only difference is the quality of the plastic. The quality of the plastic is uh, a lot cheaper. It feels like a less lesser quality plastic. That's one thing, but the biggest thing about this is Hasbro hasn't made a waxer or boil, so the fact that... AliExpress sells these custom waxer and boil figures. Uh, they look great for one. They they really look incredible. And so the fact is that if Hasbro is not going to sell them, why not buy some custom uh, waxer and boil figures off AliExpress? Because like I said, Hasbro is probably never going to get to these figures. And if AliExpress is selling them, I say use use your own judgment. Like I said, I don't really condone buying these, but. Um, they're an option if you are interested. I wanted to kind of put it out there and talk about them. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, the like button and subscribe. Reminder, there's still two days left to enter. Make sure you go down, hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video so you don't miss out. We also do have channel memberships, so make sure to go down and hit that join button if you are interested and you want to support the channel in other ways. Uh, I do really appreciate it. And we also have merch, so go check out the merch store linked in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.